Hey friends, it's Sarah Ayler from SoplexCompany.com. I popped in just a little bit ago um, to mention to you that my electricity has been out today. Um, thankfully, my husband has the foresight to plan for situations like this, um, and we have some battery backup. So I am working off my phone just using uh, cellular data, so I'm hoping that I won't have any issues today, but I wanted to let you know up front so that if I do disappear, you'll understand that it's just because I don't have a really great um, normal Wi-Fi signal today without electricity. I guess they're putting in a new power pole nearby. I'm sure they warned us, probably in a letter, um, but we're, we do everything online these days, so I just, I didn't know. I had no idea, and I had no idea it was going to happen on Kit Day, which is a big day for our company. If you're brand new to Softlex Company, we put out a new kit every single month, and it has a different theme. Um, last month, we sold the Egg Hunt Design Kit. These are unfortunately all sold out. There will be some parts and pieces inside of it that we have a limited quantity of, and you'll be able to uh, possibly purchase those on the website, but the majority of the kit is, is purchased just for this kit. We have a limited supply when they're gone. They are gone and so we'll be opening up this kit today everybody who has it it has been invited to join us we'll look inside we'll make something with it and then today is your opportunity to get on board for next month so this is a resort chic design kit uh, Kristen and I were thinking we are all ready for vacation right are you ready to go on vacation and get away from your home we are. And so we um, chose a design where a fashion designer that we really like, and we based this kit on one of her patterns. And so it's really, it's a really pretty pattern. I think you guys are going to love it. Um, and we have this available on our website as of today. Again, limited supplies, just like the egg hunt. Uh, usually they sell out within one to two weeks. So if you want to grab one, you want to do it as soon as possible to make sure you get your kit. And then we have two beautiful strands that we'll take a closer look at here when I flip the camera um, around. And those are available today on the website as well. So you can get your kit and then get some of your matching strands. I see some of you have already been purchasing. I noticed some of you are purchasing two or three of each of these. So we have a li really limited supply on these strands. There's fewer than like I had for the egg hunt. Um, half actually, because there's two color waves. So um, I, I purchased fewer of them, but I have a feeling they're going to sell out really quickly if you're buying so many all at one time. That can be that can be tricky, but you're welcome to do it. It's first come, first serve. So enjoy that. I'm going to flip my camera down. You can tell I'm not in my normal um, in my normal setting here uh, because of the Wi-Fi issue. I'm going directly from my phone. And so it's going to feel just a little bit different today, but I know you guys are all going to be patient with me uh, as we work our way through it. Yeah, so um, these are the bead strands that are available. I don't know if the Egg Hunt uh, bead strand is still available. Maybe one of my coworkers um, can comment on that. I know we had quite a few of these, so they stuck around longer than some of our other bead strands do because I just loved this colorway, and I ended up buying quite a few extras on those. So if these are still available, they're really, really pretty, and they match the bead mix that I'm gonna show you in the kit today. So if you missed the kit, the Egg Hunt kit, you can always get the bead strand the bead mix, and then even an egg hunt trio. Um, and I'm sure most of those things are posted right on our homepage um, uh, at softlexcompany.com. Kristen's saying there's about 15 strands of the egg hunt bead strand left. So if you wanna grab one of those, there's only uh, 15 of those left. And then we've got the, the pink version for resort chic, and we've got the blue uh, in resort chic as well. Our bead strands kind of give you a little bit of a um, clue 
what colors you're going to find in the kit. And so you can kind of see a little inkling of what you might be finding in the kit when you open it up. But the kit is always a surprise. Um, it will have everything you need to bead except for tools. Um, so it'll have beads and findings and wire and everything um, that you need to get started. So if you're brand new to beading, one of the design kits is a really great way to get started. And then I'm only going to use two or three basic tools today with my designs. And I always try to do that. And that way, if you're brand new to beading, you can just get a kit, a pair of cutters, a pair of crimping pliers, and you should be pretty well good you know, good to go. If you want to grab a pair of chain nose pliers, those are pretty handy too, but not necessary. Um, and you can join me. So we will open this kit on the last Wednesday of April. If you want to join us for our next, our next big reveal today, we're going to use our egg hunt uh, design kit. And it is obviously a bunch of really fun colors. We have an egg hunt trio that we've had for years. And when I when I say trio, it's three 10 foot spools of beading wire. And this particular trio has purple, it has chrysoprase, and I want to say it has mm, mm, turquoise in it. It's it's really pretty, and it has always been one of our most popular trios in our trio line. And so when we were thinking about Easter time, we thought, hey, why don't we pull a color palette that we know people are already super excited about? And that is where uh, we got our inspiration for our egg hunt design kit this month. So this is what a design kit looks like. It comes wrapped like a present because it is sort of a little present. Um, and once you pull out all your materials, you will get a list of what's inside of it with it. I uh, always forget to print mine, so I don't have mine here. Um, but basically the way our mystery design kits work is you'll buy your mystery kit, you'll join our very important studio group on Facebook. And that's key because that's where you're gonna see all the designs that amazing designers who bought this kit are going to make with it in the coming weeks. So if you join the group now, you'll get to see what they make with the same kit. Uh, please do not reveal the contents of your mystery kit and do not post any pictures of what you've made with your mystery kit until after the reveal video. And that's because some people hold on to their kit and they actually open it with me. And so we don't want to ruin their surprise and their enjoyment. Um, so we ask that you hold off on showing any pictures or videos or anything of the kit until after I have revealed it. I will reveal it on the usually the last Wednesday of the month, usually at 3 p.m. Um, Pacific time, usually on Facebook and YouTube. This time I'm recording on Facebook. We're going to move it to YouTube, but that's only because of my electricity out outage. Uh, normally we would we would be going to both automatically. And then it is your turn. You get to post pictures of your designs in the VIB group, and we uh, will randomly choose one winner who will receive the next kit for free. And you can post as many designs as you want, and each design that you post is an entry to win. So that's what I was mentioning, is if you join that VIB group now, you'll be able to see what everyone's making with the kit that I'm opening here. And you'll get lots of fun ideas um, for jewelry making in general, uh, but also how to use some of the parts and pieces that you might find in one of our uh, design kits. So let's dig in here. Um, usually every kit comes with a spool of Softlex craft wire or Softlex beading wire. In this case, we've got our Softlex beading wire medium in a chrysoprase color, which is a really fun um, green color that I just think is such a nice pop of color in the spring. Um, so I'm really excited to get to use this. And I think it's one of those colors that people don't always gravitate towards or try um, 
when they're picking out their beading wire colors. So I have a feeling a lot of people don't have this color in their stash and it's gonna be fun for them to uh, try out this different color that they've never used before. We have got three strands of check glass beads in our design kit today. We've got some really lovely turquoise colored diamonds. We've got some great little rondelles, faceted rondelles, that are um, kind of a mixture of the chrysoprase and the turquoise together. We've got some sparkly uh, satin covered um, fire polish beads. And then we've got some kind of, um, oh God, what do you call these, saucer shaped in a purple, which will be really fun um, to intermix with everything. Now I'm not seeing your comments super well because I'm in uh, a horse, horizontal landscape mode. So if you have any questions, hopefully my coworkers will help answer them. If not, I will try to jump back later tonight and take a look and make sure there wasn't anything that was left unsaid or not answered. Um, but hopefully my coworkers here can jump in and help with that because I really can't can't read your comments very well um, when I'm in landscape. Okay, so I've got a little bag of seed beads here. We've got, we put in a couple of these um, purple diamonds. You can find a full strand of these available on our website. You can find it either in Kristen's Great Bead Extravaganza design kit or we have some uh, loose strands of these as well, um, which I assume will be available from our homepage, or you can go to the check glass bead section to find a full strand. These are really, really lovely, um, and they come in a bunch of different colors. So not just this great purple, which is pretty, but also in some other colors as well. Other things in the findings kit, we have got, I think uh, two ear wires in this particular kit. We've got two uh, little silver ear wires. We've got a lobster clasp. And then this is a really important piece. This is a Green Girl Studios pewter a bunny rabbit. And this little piece would cost you $4 uh, from Green Girl Studios. So we were super excited to be able to include it in the kit um, because normally that's a high price for us to put into a kit. Um, but we made it happen. And I hope that you guys all enjoy this cute little bunny rabbit. I'm not sure if I wanna use it as a dingle on a bracelet, which I think could be super cute, or maybe a dingle on a necklace. So we'll figure that out but I definitely want to use it today because I think it's so special and so adorable. And that's something we try to do with all of our kits is to add that little special something to make it feel, um, feel special, yeah, you know, and feel unique uh, to Softlux Company. We've got our two by two millimeter sterling silver crimp tubes in this kit. We make our crimp tubes uh, much stronger than a lot of people out there. They are twice as thick as many on the market, and, um, and that makes them really sturdy and really strong. Checking on my light here. I have everything plugged into a battery pack uh, backup, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we'll make it through this video. At the very least, I'll get to show you what's in the kit, and then I may have to post a picture of what I make uh, separately, but we'll get a, we'll get as far along as we can, right? Uh, you've got four beautiful head pins with the little ball on the end, as well as uh, four jump rings in this kit. And so that is our findings. We got our check glass. Let's break open our Jesse James bead mix that comes in the kit. Jesse James Beads makes this uh, custom mix for us, just like they do the bead strands that we sell separately. Um, so you can you cannot find this kit um, or this mix at Jesse James Beads. Uh, only Softlux Company has them. And we usually order enough for our kits and then we have a little bit of an overrun. And we do that just in case we have to make a few extra kits or uh, in case something happens, um, like a, 
a bead turns out not okay or who knows what could happen. So we do a little overrun and then the overrun will go onto the website today. So we have a small uh, section of these mixes available on the website. And you can get that if you miss the kit or if you just want to beef up your kit and get extras because you just loved this mix. You can do that as well as you're ordering your next Resort Chic kit. So let's see what we got here. I'm going to grab out a couple of spools. Use them, flip them over and use them as my sorting bins here. We've got a lovely mixture of colors. We're looking at some turquoise. This is more of our topaz color, but still really lovely. Some of that. Some really great sparkly crystals. We've got some turquoise tassels, which are usually fun, fun to use. We've got some um, faux pearls in purple, and then we have some faux pearls in turquoise. Oh, you guys have been making those rings with these flowers. I think Kristen had that project idea. So now we've got a set of four of these purple roses that you guys can make some flowers with. That'll be fun. I know that's, I know I'm gonna see some of those. We've got some metal um, uh, filigree beads, which are lovely. We've got some metal in kind of a, oh, what do they call it, a simple cut shape. And it looks like we have a few bead caps, which are handy for just adding a little bit of metal into your design and some of those sparkly crystal spacer beads, which are also great. Then we've got a little bit more of our chrysoprase colors. So we've got kind of a crystally bead, a little bit more of a long, ooh, I love this shape. That's a fun shape for an earring. Like this could be super cute with this little flower tassel. You attach it at the bottom and then you just attach your ear wire at the top. That's such a cute spring ready for um, Easter earring, right? So let's get some of our greens over here. Ooh, I didn't even see this. Look at these purple cubes. Those are gorgeous. And then we've also got some um, kind of opaque purple faceted beads too. And that isn't all. Usually most of what uh, Jesse James does comes in at least a pair or even numbers. And that way you can uh, match it. So like these metal beads, for instance, which I showed you one already, there will be four in the mix. And that makes it easy to make earrings and be symmetrical and plan out your design. Now, if you do have any issues with anything in your Jesse James Beads bead mix or your bead strand, they are very easy to contact and they will work with you if there's any problems. Um, and I just wanted to let you know that because I know a lot of you have a ton of stuff from them going out in your orders uh, between the Pantone colors and the um, the kit. So just be aware that's a great resource. They are a wonderful company with great customer service. I'm sure they'll be happy to help you if there does happen to be any issue with any of your beads. So that's it, guys. That's what's in the kit. Let's make something. Um, Oh, I'm so excited. I'm kind of excited with the idea of using all three colors that are in the Egg Hunt uh, trio because I think they look so pretty together and I don't think it's a color combination that people use all that often. Um, so I think it'll be kind of a treat to test it out. I'm thinking a bracelet would probably be nice with this little uh, bunny hanging off of it. It looks like we've got some cute little jump rings here that we can attach 
that bunny pretty easily. Maybe even do a little bead attachment as well with our head pins. So I think, uh, yeah, let's do a bracelet. Let me see if I can figure out how to make space. <laughs> I'm so used to the screen uh, being a different direction. It's always like flabbergasting how difficult it is. Okay, so a bracelet with turquoise. I'm definitely using these. I think these are spectacular. I would wear these just by themselves because they're so pretty. Like you really don't need to do a lot with these beads. They're so gorgeous with the little facets and it's just, this is my one of my favorite colors, that turquoisey, almost green, but definitely still blue type of a color. I'm gonna use those for sure. So let's pull those out. I hope you guys are all doing well out there. I can't wait to see what you make with the kit. I posted the other day in the VIB group that you guys just absolutely killed it in March with the Joyful Beading Challenge. I mean, I saw so many fantastic designs in the VIB group from those daily prompts. And then the, um, the last kit was our Pretty as a Peacock kit. And there were just some really, really stunning um, designs. And so just hats off to all of you for um, taking the time to challenge yourself to um, do that kind of beating on the regular. I know, you know, most of us didn't do it every single day. Some of us maybe did, but most of us didn't. And that's totally okay. Like with the joyful beating, the idea is to kind of jump in where you can and it should be really enjoyable when you're doing it. And so it was really fun to see, see what you all made. And just, I'm really, really, uh, I'm really proud to be a part of that group. I think you guys in the VIB group are just truly such an amazing group of just really gracious, really kind people. And, um, and I'm really proud that Softlux Company, you know, started a group like that. And so thank you for being there and thank you for posting your designs and trusting everyone to be kind. And, um, and thank you to everyone who spends time commenting on each other's designs uh, to say kind things and take that time. I think that also merits, um, merits a big thank you because that's really important. Okay, so I'm thinking these would be nice here to offset this bead. And then I like these little kind of simple cut beads. I'm hoping you guys can see me okay. Am I off screen? Let me bring it up just slightly so you can see me better. Okay, it's hard to see. Okay, so what else do I wanna add here? So I probably need to break open maybe some of this. I like these um, these kind of opaque, like faceted purple beads. I think will be really fun on my bracelet. So I'm gonna slip those in there too. And then I probably wanna go back to Maybe something like this, get that green in there and then more of the turquoise. Let me see, I wanna go make sure my beads are facing the right direction. So I string them the right direction after. So that's looking pretty good. I'm probably getting pretty close to um, to my six inches here. So I'm gonna go ahead and string this. I'm wanting a little more turquoise in there. I don't know if you guys feel that way too. I'm wondering if this darker um, diamond turquoise would be kind of fun to pull in there, especially with that diamond shape. Maybe that's what needs to go out on the ends here. 
let's try it. This is how I bead, and I think this is generally how most people bead if you're brand new to the idea of beading, um, is just by kind of playing around with it and seeing how things feel, how things look together. Um, oh, I am liking that darker color. I'm gonna look up here. I love these, but maybe I just make a single strand of those because I just love them almost all by themselves. Let's string this and see what it looks like put together. Got my saw flex that's in the kit. I'm just gonna unroll some wire and string up my beads and then I'll kind of check and see what size. Uh, lots of people like to use things like bead boards or bead mats um, when they're beading. I tend to just bead right on a flat surface. Um, I don't know why, maybe it's my years of working at trade shows <laughs> and beading in the booth uh, that I just feel most comfortable just kind of picking up and beading wherever I am and I don't really, um, don't really use a specific surface for it, but there are a lot of options out there. I know uh, Jill Wiseman has those really neat like fabric bead boards that have kind of a rim on them. And I know there's um, one of our members in our Facebook group posted one the other day of a bead board that her, uh, I think her husband possibly makes. Um, so you can look through the posts and maybe private message her and ask ask about those if you like that kind of thing. Let's see, this is gonna be a great Easter design. I'm gonna wow my, my family. <laughs> Although Evelyn is planning an Easter party, she told me, so an outdoor Easter party. So I have that to look forward to along with uh, the Easter dinner that I'm making. Okay, so I'm gonna throw a bead stopper on the end, this little tool here, and then I'm gonna try this on my wrist to see where we're at. Am I getting close to where I need to add a clasp? Do I need to add a couple more beads? How do I feel about it? You know, now that I'm looking at it on my wrist, is it something I still really like and feel good about. I'm feeling pretty great about it. Um, if I added anything, it would be just a touch more purple, maybe at the ends. So maybe one of these um, purple beads would be good. I'm gonna open up every single one of these bead strands today. Maybe a touch more purple. And see how that feels. Um, but it's really, anytime you're beading, it's kind of a process of adding and subtracting and deciding, you know, what's, what's going to work for you. Go. So I'm going to look at it like this too. Um, do, how do I feel about it? And I'm feeling pretty good. I'm especially feeling good that I'm going to add this cute little bunny to it and it's going to feel very Easter-y um, for sure. So let me grab a, let me grab a crimp. Right, so this is a crimp tube. If you're brand new to beading, these came in the kit. It's a two by two sterling silver crimp tube that I talked about a little bit about earlier, about being uh, uh, twice as thick as some on the market. Now, the reason why that's important is that this little crimp holds everything together. And so it is, though it's small, it's mighty. It's extremely important in your design. And so you wanna make sure that your, um, that you've got a good quality crimp, no matter where you're getting it from, because it will make a difference. Here, let's crimp this side first. It'll make a difference in how your, your design holds up over time. I'm gonna take my crimp tube, I'm gonna, or my wire, pass it through my crimp tube, 
pass it through my lobster clasp that came in the kit and back into my crimped 